Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nissy, coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to build a free UAD console preset for Drake. I feel like Drake is an artist that has evolved over time, and that's why he's been able to stay up in the game for so long. So let's talk a little bit about Drake's sound. You know, how can we achieve those really mainstream, nice vocals with presence, a nice top end with a little bit of body that do not feel like they're brittle, like a little dried up old stick or leaf, and they're ready to crack up. Let's get right to it right now. If y'all like the preset, you will see the link down below. Okay, let's go. So with somebody like Drake, I think that drake is very interesting he came from canada and he really paved the way for you know other canadian artists like uh what's that one that's that one what's that one guy oh tory lanes yeah that guy and yeah, he paved the way for people like tory lanes another great canadian artist that i used to like back in the day and his music was important for me to understand engineering was a guy named Jazz Cartier. I don't know if you guys know him. Drop the name down, drop the comment down below if you know Jazz Cartier. He used to have him and his producer Lance. And that was like the first time I ever really heard what engineering was. So shout out to all them dope Canadian artists. You feel me? Okay. So with somebody like Drake, I understand that Drake's vocal, he likes to sing a lot. He likes he likes to do his little ad like, yeah. You feel me? Like, it's all about the nuances. It's all about the small, finer details for somebody like Drake. I would love to use a microphone, like the TLM 103. The TLM 103 for me is kind of like the little brother to the Neumann U87. The Neumann U87 has this very nice high mid articulation, this nice character that really gives a nice little edge to the vocal that really kind of helps it cut through the beat right out the gate as soon as the vocals get laid down. It's important to know when you setting up your vocal chain, you want to think about your voice, your situation. You feel me? Because just just because it worked for Drake, that don't mean it's going to work for you. OK, so you got to think about your individual wants and needs and stuff like that. So with somebody like Drake, I love uh, TLM 103. He used to use this microphone, I think, very early on in his career because it gives a nice bit of, you know, articulation, a nice little attention to details. It's like Inspector gadget with that magnifying glass paying attention to every little single movement that's going on with his you know how he's saying his words his delivery the tlm 103 understand the frequency response to your microphone this microphone has a high um high shelf boost you know relatively flat in the mid range the low mid and everything like that we're gonna have a little bit of body coming in from the preamp and everything else but you know, this high shelf is really good because it gives a, a certain sheen. It gives a certain sheen that I can say specifically, you know, kind of like when you get you ha you got some church shoes and then you hit it with a little bit of that black wax. And you, you know, you wipe it down. It has that nice little that nice little, you know, a nice little shine to it in the light. So that's what we want with some like a Drake vocal. We want a nice little shine in the light which is kind of like oh, against the whole beat. Okay, so the preamp I would use for Drake is none other than the peanut butter jelly sandwich of preamps, which is the Neve 1073. I say that it's the peanut butter jelly sandwich because of the parts in it. Understand the parts. The transformer gives you a little bit that, that, that nice thickness, that nice richness. You know, when you eat peanut butter, it kind of gets stuck in your teeth a little bit. You know, I want the power of his vocal to get stuck a little bit inside of the recording. So the transformer from a Neve does that then you also have the transistors which is like the jelly it gives a little bit of that sweetness you know what i mean it gives a little bit of that 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 mickey mouse uh tinkerbell type of disney channel wand to the top end of the vocal also the microphone is helping us out with that so that's why i would pick the neve 1073 it's very balanced with somebody like drake you know the harder you push the mic pre the more color you're going to be getting from it you're going to be leaning into it essentially more so i would use maybe only about 30 db something that's very nice and neutral uh you know for somebody like drake especially because you know it's kind of like if you have like a, a coloring book imagine when you was in elementary school you know you have the nice outline of the lyrics of the rapper his delivery his message his theme for the song but you want to use something like a preamp to be like a crayon and kind of color it in a little bit and make it artistic the way you want to hear it okay 
last thing that I will use for Drake's vocal. I know he likes to use something like a, a CL1B or LA2A, but nah, fuck that. We would be making our own decisions. That's what I want you guys to start doing. Make your own decisions when it comes to what microphone you use, what plugins you use. Don't use something because the next man, John Dick and Harry down the street, Quan and them, is using that, that goddamn plugin or microphone. Make, make stuff work for you, okay? Do not work to buy this expensive stuff. Get something that works for you okay so shadow hills mono optograph is what i will use on a drake vocal because it's an optical compressor which means it uses the light you know you have you have optical lens and you get to see light okay it uses light to do the compression and the thing about it is it has an internal side chain now with the side chain understand that the low end is still going to get compressed it's just the fact that the detection circuit is not looking at that low end and this is really good for something like a vocal because when a vocal's coming in a raw vocal I mean, that's like wide band. That's like everything. That's like 20 hertz, 30 hertz, and everything above that. So it would be pretty nice to have maybe an optical compressor with a side chain filter on the way in that will allow us to do maybe a little bit more comp compression, but it will be very clean, very consistent, very nice, very expensive. That's what I think of when I think of Shadow Hills. I think of boutique, bougie, bad and bougie. That's what I think about. So this is the UAD console preset. Let's look at this. Of course, the Neve 1073, you know, coming through and putting in a little bit of work, doing about 35 uh, dB of volume, something that's really nice for me personally. That's the sweet spot, and that's why I love the Neve a lot. You know, usually with a Neve 1073, it's not just the preamp section, but also the uh the, the the circuitry from the EQ that's added onto that sound. So I like using just the preamp only too, because maybe I don't want the extra sound or the extra buzz or the extra character of the EQ part. I just want the preamp. That's why I love using something like that. After that, we have the uh sphere emulation on uh the of the TLM 103. And I like this one a lot. It really just has a beautiful, beautiful, non-annoying uh type of sound to it. Personally, I I like it a lot. I love using TLM 103s. If a studio doesn't have a U87, which is my preferable, uh, you know, microphone, I, we like to use a TLM 103. But since I got the UAD Sphere, it doesn't matter. I just use the UAD Sphere. And for me, it might not sound exactly like all the emulations, but it sounds close enough to where I don't need to go spend more and more and more money. And that's what I'm, I'm looking out for y'all when I, I suggest this microphone. Last thing right here is the Shadow Hills Master Bus Compressor. I feel like this gives you a strategic advantage because you have the choice of picking three different types of transformers. And one of them is kind of warm. Another one is kind of bright and the other one is kind of neutral, but that's what transformers do. Sometimes they can add brightness. Uh, a piece of analog hardware I used to have I don't have it no more. I sold all my hardware because it's really not necessary. Was a pair of Neve 542s and uh, the red transformers on the Neve 542s, they added brightness. That kind of shocked me a little bit because I always think of a uh, smooth top end and weight when I think of transformers, but transformers can be used to add brightness. So this is a great, a great setup right here because you know, every song that you do, you can just one, two, three. Okay, I, I want this sound, I don't want this sound, I want this flavor and really just custom tailor it to the material. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the video that we have here today. If you guys do wanna get this UAD Drake console preset, you will be able to find it down below in the link and you can get it for free. I just wanna say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe suggest more artists down below appreciate y'all now youtube gang peace